Hey guys, I'm Russell here, and I'm back for part two for the How to Train Your Dragon 3 The Hidden World spoiler review. Okay, so where were we again? Okay, so the relationship between um, uh, Tootless and Life Fury, I think it really was needed. It really was needed. and Because, you know, Hegel was like, you know, Tootless should have a girlfriend. And there's more. Um, anything else? Alright, so the Birkins. Alright, I love the scene when the Birkin, the Birkins find uh, an island so they can. So the Borks find an island so they can rest and sleep. And. Um, And uh, Hiccup builds uh, an automatic tail so he can fly without him meeting the life fury. So, anything else? Uh, yeah, Grimmel. Uh, he was fucking heartless. He was uh, like, he had this huge vendetta against knife furies. You know what I mean? Like, before he met, um, fucking, um, He had this huge vendetta with the Night Furies where he could have just stopped, you know. And he, he broke in. He broke into Hiccup's house. Like, what the fuck? Like, he broke in. He tranquilizes Tootless. And, and does something like that. Why? I don't know. Like, some villains are so fucking heartless. And uh, selfish, don't fucking like them. Like, all he wanted to do was commit genocide on all of the dragons, hunt down Tootless, and prove the heck up that friendship between humans and dragons is nothing but an illusion. Like, he once found an Eye Fury. In a vulnerable state, but but he um, he killed it. Like just because they're dragons doesn't mean they're dangerous. You now he killed night furies, hunting them down and all. Like he just wanted to hunt them down, kill them all. That's selfish. <laughs> and he's like he's like this. Would you like a cup of tea? Like, why would you want to have a cup of tea? You just broke into his fucking home. Like, I, I, I fucking hate him. Anyway, so, um... Yeah, about, um... I think, um... Tufno had more scenes with Hiccup as he did in the last few films, like, talking about, you know... You should be married and all. I mean, like, that's their choice, don't you think? I mean, like, I don't know. And, like, also, like, fuck, hold on. I just see him in the sorry. Like, Hiccup and Astrid decide when they get married, you know? They should always decide. What happens, no matter how who they are or how they are, they're in love with each other. You know what I mean? Like, remember that. Remember that, mate. Better fucking remember that. So what else? What is fella? Grimble the Gosling. He's an awful snake, doesn't he? Like, he just wanted to kill Night Furies. And he just wanted to admit, admit that, you know, him and... Like, he just wanted to, like, his relationship with Night Furies was just an illusion. Like, how is it an illusion? 
I don't know. I don't fucking know. Some people are so fucking fortuitous and heartless. So anyway, Gobber. Oh Jesus. Gobber is so funny. No, seriously, he, he he's one of my favourite characters in the film. Besides Hiccup, Hiccup's my overall favourite character of all time. But um yeah. It was it was what it was. You know. And there was a lot of uh, references from this one and the from from uh, the sec first and second one because I feel like it was really needed because like the, I think this is the last Hell Train Dragon film. It says final. Uh, yeah, it's the third and final installment. So um, yeah. So your man Kit Harrington's character. I don't know who he is. Warren Tech up and Astrid and Gobber. About um, Grimmel, like how he wants to take out Night Fury. He's like, la, 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 la. like he was fine. I think, I think he was one of the overall villains. Like the only two, him and uh, Rago, Drago, were the only two human the uh, villains. So, oh, I think he was the best villain. Out of all of them, he was a brilliant villain. So the scene when Hiccup realizes that uh, the Vikings will no longer be safe with dragons inside the hidden world, more, more ever, have no business to be upon the dragon's home. And then this this heartless. Bastard Gribble comes out. Tudis just finds his girlfriend, right? And then he just takes them both away. Takes them both away. And there's also a... There's also a scene where, um, you know, it's kind of similar to the first one where, what's your plan? Where Astrid's like, what's your plan? What are you going to do about it? And then Hiccup's like, something stupid. And for a second time, I was going to say, I thought she was going to say, I know, but you've already done that. And then he was going to say, and something crazy. But, didn't do anything crazy. I mean, the thing is about Hiccup, though, is that he's much more older than he was in the first one. And he was older in the, in the, the second one. So in the fine in the, in the final battle, right? I love I love the final battle where he just fucking kicks kicks Grimmel right in the face. They have an overall battle. It's fucking crazy. Shit's all going to hell. They all fucking love it. And then of course, uh, Grimmel dies. I, I I love that scene, and. Uh, then the Life Fury saves Hiccup and Tootless. And there's also the original drinking. And of course, we get this heart touching scene where Hiccup decides to let Tootless off the hook. I mean, like, I didn't really expect that. To happen, but I feel like it was needed. But okay, t towards the end, I'll get something. And uh, oh wait, hold on. There, there was also a scene where um, Grimble drugs the the night fury into letting him fly. You know what I mean? Like you drug, you force a night, you force so a dragon to fly when she's not even your dragon. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't really expect they'd bring in another Night Fury. Well, it's Light Fury. But, uh, yeah, so anyway. So, Tootless, not only does to not only does Heck Up let Tootless go, but all the other Vikings, like Astrid, let Stormfly go. 
so they all let the dragons go and it was a little bit sad but towards and then and then uh so there's other scene where Hiccup and Astrid get married. I mean, I think that was really needed. You know, their relationship in the first one was kind of like rivalry. Like, remember when she was like, in the first one, she was like, uh, knowing she was very strict about why he was there. No. Like, in the first one, she's a bit of a bitch, but. I like her. I, I, I still love Astra. She's so fearless and powerful and beautiful. So anyway, uh, they get married. Uh, the old the old woman who was in the the first one who voted uh heck up to be the winner. I think she's one of the the authors. Uh, of course. Um, yeah, that that all happens. Um. Later on, Hiccup and Astrid get married. I mean, no, no, I'm sorry. In there, uh, Hiccup and Astrid um, have kids. I think the, the daughter looked a lot like Hiccup and the son looked a lot like Astrid. And of course, um, not only that, Tootless and uh, the Light Fury, Tootless and the Light Fury, uh, they have kids too, little Night Fury uh, kids, Night Fury dragon kids. Not only that, Hiccup has a, a beard, I mean I like that. I mean, when my dad first saw it, it was like, he looks like Mark, Mark Dowling. For a second I thought he looked like um, Grant Gustin from The Flash, a little bit, uh, never mind. So uh, I didn't like, I didn't know, understand the scene where he was like, like going on like that, I think he didn't recognize. I I didn't think he recognized him because of the beard and all. But of course, uh, the scene, the final scene, specifically towards the end of the film, where they just fly away, and we have the original drag, Hedgehog and Dragon theme on, and of course, they fly into the sunset with their kids and all. It was such. A brilliant movie, and of course, during the we also have they showed the 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 title How to Train a Dragon: the, the Hidden World. Well, I call How to Train a Dragon Three: The Hidden World. So during the credits, this isn't a post credit scene, okay? They show scenes from the first, second, and um, they show scenes of the first film, the second one, and this one. Scenes of first one, second one, and the third one. The first one is where Hiccup is like, oh, there's also a scene where uh, the kids are like trying are like trying to touch Tootless so carefully, which is what Hiccup did to him in the um, in the first one. And uh, there's also I think there's one where they're going up against a big huge dragon in the the first one. I don't know what that one is called. The one with the big, the small eyes and like millions of eyes, like several small eyes, big wings, like about uh, 15, 15 feet or something. Like really, really tall. Uh, I think there was one where he was like confronting Ra Drago. Um, so overall, guys, um, I go see... Go see How to Train Your Dragon 3, The Hidden World. It was brilliant. Uh, I think there's other films that I have to look out for, look forward to see, like Avengers Endgame, Captain Marvel, Hobbs and Shaw, Spider-Man Far From Home. Um, I think there's a Sonic the Hedgehog movie coming out in December. What else is there? Shit. I don't know what else is there. Oh, The Lion King. Aladdin and for those of you guys who don't know there is a live action adaption of Dumbo mm, I might go see that so anyway I hope you guys are ready 
So for those of you who are new to the channel, just leave down in the comments. Let us let us know what let me know what you guys thought of this movie. Um just put a comment down below. If you're new to the Ross of Hair channel, all you need to do is be a subscriber and be part of the channel. So uh yeah, see you later.